gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. This is raining from Poulton's Park down south, right to the bottom of the country, near Southampton. Uh, now this is on future development, because over the last few days, reports have been citing uh, some surveying going on, around a specific site in the park, potentially for their next major development. Now, before we get started with this news update, make sure you do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, make sure you do use the uh, description in the bottom of the video to report, uh, to, to get your thoughts and your video ideas in. Uh, you can use the Google Forms link in the description down below. Uh, that means you, that's you, can get your ideas in for the channel. And uh, also the social media links will be in the description in the video as well. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Poulton's Park and the surveying uh, going around the Cobra and Edge corner of the park. Interesting. So, if you want to know exactly where this site is that they are surveying, um, then you can just look on your screen right now, Fandabby Dozy. They're doing some surveying right next to the edge and also right opposite the Cobra. Now, around, so you're talking which site, that is the site on your screen right now. Now, this is the corner of the part that, in my opinion, needs updating the most. I think it's absolutely clear. Uh, and, I to and I said about this for the last year or two, this was the next site that I could see being developed for Bolton's Park and being redeveloped uh, into a site for future attractions. Uh, now, obviously, if you want me to share my early predictions on what I think could be going on here uh, in this particular site, um, I feel like overall this could be the uh, potential... Uh, site of a good range of some attractions um, I feel like you know with this particular site in the park I think you're looking at a lot of development room uh, you got to look you, you've only got to look at the uh, the raging river uh, sort of just behind that site going into uh, tornado springs uh, sorry, Lost Kingdom. Why am I saying Tornado Springs? That's the opposite end of the park. Lost Kingdom. <laughs> um, you've got to look at the Dragon Roundabout. You've got to look at the Go Karts attraction. There's a lot of different attractions uh, around this site. Magma's there, as well as the Cobra and the Edge. You've also got the Digger Ride. You've got Seal Falls. You've got the Cascades. Um, snack kiosk uh, just behind as well so you've got a bit of grassland in this particular site and you've got a couple of tra attractions to work with now of course um, everyone will probably be saying well why don't you expand Lost Kingdom uh, towards the back of the go-kart site and expand it you know in that direction and I can see why you would do that I could see why you would probably expand Lost Kingdom towards the back but in my opinion I think we're looking at a brand new area here I think that um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of attractions you'd see on this site I think there's some potentialities uh, for new roller coasters but obviously non-coaster editions as well you're going to look at the non-coaster editions uh, now I'm going to share my thoughts on what I think could be coming to Poulton's Park in this particular area of the um, attraction and also what I feel like could be going on uh, with the possible um, redevelopment of that area in the park. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is what's going on at Poulton's Park right now. The Cobra and Edge sort of site or corner of the park is looking likely to be what is next on the redevelopment section of the future plans of the park. Um, look at the attractions in that site, Magma, Cobra, Edge, um the go-karts, you've got Seal Falls, the Digger Ride, you've got the Cascade Snack Kiosk, you've got the Raging River Log Flume uh, area of the park that I think could use some redevelopment. Uh, if you want me to be brutally honest, I feel like we're looking just at the Cobra, Edge, Magma and go-karts and that sort of grassland where the Digger Falls and Seal, the Seal Falls and the Digger Ride sits in front of as well. I think just those kids' attractions and the go-karts will probably go and then they'll redevelop the rest of the area around Magma, Cobra and Edge. I think Magma will be rethemed. I, I, I won't lie to you here. I think Magma will be rethemed with whatever the new area is going to be. 
Now, if you're talking about potential themes of what we're looking at here, I mean, look at the themed areas currently in the park. You've got Peppa Pig World, which is obviously the Peppa Pig intellectual property. You've got Lost Kingdom, which is all about dinosaurs and the prehistoric area of the park, which, like I said, there is a potentiality they could expand that area into that corner of the park, but I, I think it's highly unlikely for me personally. You've got Tornado Springs, which is like a western town, like a rebuilt western town. Uh, so that's like your Wild West kind of thing. You've got Critter Creek, which is your uh, sort of wildlife and animals kind of theme. Um, so look at the themes they could use for this. I think sci-fi definitely springs out to mind immediately in terms of generic themes. Horror definitely springs to mind, like a Halloween town kind of thing. You could do some really cool stuff with that. Um, sci-fi like I said you could do some really amazing stuff with that in terms of theming and lighting and etc um, and you know I think if you're looking looking a bit deeper you could look you could look at maybe like a like a uh, a sweet town like a candy town kind of thing maybe uh, just just sort of plucking themes and ideas if they're gonna go down the intellectual property route You could look at a few shows past and present things like your Game of Thrones Speaking of Game of Thrones by the way you could go with maybe like a medieval kind of section of the park because it's sort of a generic theme as well um, You could even go for a steampunk area now a steampunk area could do very well very well for the park now, obviously, a lot of fans have been speaking about the future of the Edge. In the past, they have fought to keep this, uh, the, the Edge on its particular site. Um, and I think if you were to relocate Edge... Now, a lot of people have said Edge has been looking worse for wear in its past couple of years. So if they were to remove Edge or relocate Edge where the go-kart is and retheme it, then you've got the old edge plot of land that you could maybe use a little bit of but then you've got the grassland where the seal falls ride the digger ride is uh the raging river if you want to take that out as well and sort of use that whole strip and sort of use that whole front bit of the edge site if you're going to use the whole of that i reckon you could put a decent sized coaster in there or you could build a nice building for a dart ride, whether it be a trackless dart ride or an interactive dart ride, or in terms of roller coasters, you could go down a Vacoma route. I think Vacoma could be a nice possibility for the park. Um, you know, you've only got to look at what Vacoma has done in the past with certain parks. I think that you've got real potential here to install a Vacoma, something on the lines of Phoenix at Far Up Summerland that opened this year, uh, or Lek Coaster. Um, as well at Legendia in Poland um, I think you've got real potential with that maybe something like fly like Fanta uh, like fly at Fantasia land as well of a coma flying coaster would be a great addition to the park it'd be a more a more thrilling addition one of the signature rides in the park as well um, so yeah I think you've got some real potential options here in terms of themes in terms of attractions um, so I think Poland's have got a very exciting you know year or so coming up so uh i think we're not looking at 2023 here with this i don't think this will be 2023 i think this will probably be 2024 especially trying to compete with alton towers with the nemesis retrack reopening so i mean look at 2024 already you've got you know um the nemesis redevelopment old towers Project Exodus at Thorpe, Chessington's new coastal will have been open for a year and the new area will have been open for about a year by that point. Uh, so they'll want to keep the numbers coming up after 2023. So it would make a lot of sense bringing it out in 2024. Um, but I wouldn't be against 2023 because like I said, Chessington's new coaster is in that year as well. So you're going to have to compete with the parks that you're up against. And Chessington's a very family thrill park like Poulton's Park. So... They're going to want to compete with that. So I think 2023 isn't out of the question, but I'd say 2024 is more of a realistic possibility for me. Uh, but uh, there we go. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a potent fantastic day. <laughs>